We're happy once again to have the mayor of New Hope with us for an update for New Hope residents. Welcome, Kathy Hempkin. How are you today? Good morning. Welcome to a cold, sunny day in, in January. Yes. All right. We're making our way through the month here. Not too cold yet. Let's talk a little bit about some things happening in the city. Always a lot going on. First is a meeting you had with the new county commissioner. Give us a little recap of that get together. Well, in our area, the county, the new county commissioner is Jeff Lundy, and Jeff was a, um, a mayor in Brooklyn Park. So we had a little talk with him because we, there's some things we wanted to talk to him about. And the first thing on the list was that darn crossing at Winnetka and <laughs> that Canadian Pacific crossing. Well, apparently Hennepin County has a separate contract with Canadian Pacific. So we wanted to make sure that Jeff was uh, aware of that. Uh, they tell us, Canadian Pacific tells us that they're going to do something in the spring, but we want to make sure it's coordinated between the, the Hennepin County, the city, and the railroad, and that has to get done. But I should tell people when they're going to do that, they're going to block off Winnetka in both directions. Mm -hmm. So it will be totally impassable for a bit. So just be aware of that. and Don't be uh, too upset if you have to go around through Boone. Very good. Tough for a couple days, but then it will be smooth sailing after that. Let's move ahead to talk about the so. State of the City event. This is an annual event that the city puts on, but a little different this year. Tell us how. Well, usually we put it on with Twin West, but Twin West is incorporated now into Minneapolis. And since we can't do anything in person, we're doing it virtually. So Kirk McDonald and I, Kirk is the city manager, will be uh, in front of podiums and a screen. And we'll do that on February 3rd at 8.30 in the morning as part of Business Networking Group. So we're hoping to get it on, on film. You should be able to see it on our website. And hopefully we'll see it on CCX as too. Very good. We are working at that. Home Energy Squad visits. There's an opportunity for residents to get some help. How does this work? Well, it's called CEE, uh, Center for Energy and Environment. And they do home visits. Well, because of COVID, they're doing these vis visits for free and they're doing them virtually. So what they're asking people to do is, is sign into CEE and uh, ask for a virtual visit. They'll walk you right through that. And if they think it deserves or warrants that you have an in-home visit, they will come and then do that. But the uh, what they're trying to do is show you places where you could save some energy, maybe doing things a little more efficiently. So. And it, that virtual visit is free. It's really worth it. And you can go to the city's website, as you see at the bottom of the screen, newhopemn.gov, to find out more information about that visit and also find out a little bit more about the Scatter Site Housing Program. You've got one house to update residents on this week. What is happening in the city? Well, on 52nd in Pennsylvania, uh, we just signed the deal on that one. And so we're buying that house and uh, we'll tear it down and sell the the land to a developer. That's the one that's pretty near Windsor Ridge. So the new house will fit right into the, the area quite nicely. So we continue to do that, find houses that are either in distress or uh, uh, older and that, that don't either don't have basements or they need a lot of repair. Mm -hmm. And we either tear them down or we try to fix them if, if it's worth fixing. Let's move ahead to the business networking group. And this is going to tie into something we just mentioned with the state of the city. Tell us a little bit again about the business networking group. Who are these people and what are the topics at the meetings they have coming up? Well, there's like about 30 people that sign on. They're just small businesses around the city. Uh, as you know, that every uh, the even months in February, it'll be at 830 and the odd months, uh, it'll be at two o'clock. So in uh, March, we'll be talking to Kathy Pedersen with Opus Music. She'll be telling us a little bit about her business. And then the one in April will be with the CEE person telling us about that. So uh, they're free to join in. And if you don't have the website, go to our website and we'll get you connected so you can be on the, I think it's a WebEx call. Very good. NewHopeMN.gov to find out more about that. Here's a new topic to talk about. Reduced pressure zone device testing. Sounds very technical, Mayor. <laughs> what is this that's going to be going on? Well, it is. If you think of a swimming pool and the water goes into the pool and then, uh, of course, we don't want that water to back out of the pool and into our drinking water supply system. And so there's this device that goes in there. Most businesses have that because they have a larger uses of water and houses that have a pool. When they put in the pool or a business, they put that device in, but it needs to be checked every year. And just recently, New Hope put in a requirement that it needs to be checked 
uh, yearly, and we've got a list of companies that we have worked with in the city that will come out and check that. It's not a free check, by the way, so be prepared to, to pay a little something for that. What it is is just a, a reassurance that water is not going to be flowing, back flowing into our drinking water system. Very good. Sounds like a good project. And is this related as well to water meter testing for businesses or is that a separate topic? Do those two tie together? Okay. That's a separate topic, but mm -hmm. we do have, uh, occasionally the water meters don't work properly and they're usually in businesses, very rarely at a house. So uh, Public Works has been out fixing those, uh, replacing them when they need to be replaced. Very important asset for the City of New Hope are AEDs, and I understand the new AED is ready for use if ever necessary. Where might that be? Well, they just installed one at City Hall, and I'm sure they're going to train the employees how to use it. They're, they found they're very effective. When, when we need it, we need it. And it's not mm -hmm. the time to go looking around for right. the, the equipment. So it's going to be in a very visible place, and they're installing that this week. Very good. We're going to spend quite a bit of time here in the next minute or two about Park and Rec. A lot going on as they try to figure things out during COVID. Tell us about some of the games and activities that are underway. First of all, the community gyms have opened. So scrimmages and practices are going on in the community gyms. Of course, they're following all the, the COVID guidelines, so that's going to be okay. Also, Park and Rec is getting the ice rinks, the outdoor ice rinks ready uh, for the mites to play. The mites are those real little guys that play hockey and they, they play outside. So they're getting those rinks ready and, and doing all the stuff they have to do with that. The family activity kits mm -hmm. are still available. They now have a Valentine craft kit right. that you can purchase. Of course, you could always rent the skis and the snowshoes that are, that are out there to rent. One of these days, we're going to have a little more snow. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot more people in the golf course on snowshoes and skis. Very good. And I, I talked to the guy at the golf course and he says, yeah, they're allowing people to do that. Please stay off the greens, though, because it really is damaging if we put tracks in those greens. Let's talk about the dance program for a minute. They have been adapting very well. What are some of the updates on ways that they're trying to get dancers dancing and parents watching? <laughs> well, they've been doing it virtually. Well, they, they kids go on, they look at the screen, they practice their little dance moves. Well, now that uh, dancing is open, but of course it's got to be distance and they have to be careful. Uh, so they're planning to do some things like how they're going to do the photos, uh, the parents' night, the dance recital, the rehearsals, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're busily working on that. Uh, I think they'll be fine, but it's, it's really a lot of extra work for our dance instructors. I'm sure it is. Well, here's a sure sign that spring is somewhere around the corner. The Step To It is being mentioned again. Remind residents about Step To It and why this is a great way to get involved. Well, Hennepin County puts on this program every year. It's called Step To It, and you sign up and just do that, Step To It, all one word, and you, you sign up either with your business or you can sign up with the city or you can sign up as an individual and you track your, not only your steps, but your, your movement. So you get points for vacuuming the rug and washing the car. And, mm -hmm. and it's a sure sign that spring is coming. And we have some New Hope residents in the past that have been very involved in the program. So join in that fun. Let's move to the ice arena and talk a little bit about what's happening inside. And great news for high school athletes and their parents and fans. We have games going on. We do, but first we have scrimmages and practices. And so th those are happening with the Armstrong Cooper Hockey Youth Association. Mm -hmm. So the younger kids are, are practicing. They're on the ice. Of course, they're keeping them apart. They're wearing masks. The kids don't like it, but we need to keep them safe. Uh, they opened up the ice arena, and they the first game was a doubleheader. And that was exciting for them. Mm -hmm. Again, they're being very careful. I understand they're allowing two spectators in per skater. And again, keeping them distance as best they can. So. We're, we're trying. All right, we're moving along in that facility and another facility to talk about that's another sign of spring and summer is the pool. What is happening behind the scenes as we prepare? Yeah, honestly, that pool is going to have a grand opening in June. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. I don't know how, but they're going to do that. So we're getting supplies in for the pool. You know, we need a lot of chemicals, uh, things that, of course, we're not getting... Uh, consumables in, but things that they're using in the pool, we're getting that. The other thing they're doing is they're looking for people to apply to work at the pool. Now, if you don't have a life, lifesaver certificate 
or a water safety certificate, it's okay to apply because we need maintenance workers. We need kids to work at the canteen. Um, we just need all kinds of people. So they can go to our website and uh, get the application there. They can go into City Hall and get an application. But I think that sounds like just a fun summer job. You bet. I may, I may go get an application. Sounds good. <laughs> we'll look for you there. Uh, let's bring us back to the reality of winter for just a second here with Park and Rec. You've got still opportunities to build some snow sculptures and snowmen. Why should we, we do this? We do. We do. It's an ongoing thing. The Citizens Advisory Commission started this a couple years ago. Now, your snow sculpture doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be a 12-foot dinosaur. It can be a, a four-inch dinosaur as far as we're concerned. Mm -hmm. Anything works. So build a snowman, build a snow lady, build a, a, a snow dog, if you wish, and take a picture. And then you should send that to REC, Rec, REC at newhopemn.gov. Send the picture. You have to name your sculpture, by the way, Very good. just so we can keep track of. And then uh, this goes on till the end of March, and then they'll uh, they'll judge the best sculpture, and prizes will be awarded. Sounds very fun. Final couple notes here. Let's talk about publications and information going out to residents. Park and Rec has been busy, and the city as well. What information is sent out now by a couple different methods? So we have in touch, which uh, that went to the publisher last week. You should be seeing that this week sometime. And then in the pipeline, uh, that's the thing that goes in the water bill. That should go out next week, too, with the water bill. If you happen to live in an apartment and you don't get these things, you can always go into City Hall and pick them up. It's a good source of information on what's going on in the city, who to contact, how to get things uh, that you might be needed, and just questions that you might have. Another way the city communicates on a regular basis is through social media. And I understand West Metro Fire Rescue District was doing that here recently with some great news for people that might need some items to help out. What was this? Okay, so this is a no questions asked, you no, no communications at all. You go to one of the fire stations. Uh, there's one in New Hope on 42nd uh, in Zylon. There's two in Crystal. Uh, right inside the door of the fire station, there are bags. Pick up a bag of food. And there's also hand sanitizers and masks if you need them. We want to get food and masks and san and sanitizer out to everybody we can. So they've been doing this for a while. Uh, just buzz in, pick it up, leave, take it if you need it. Good for them. Great opportunity. And speaking of masks, you have just a final word again for residents to keep those masks going and to stay safe out there. Tell us about that. We're so close with the vaccine, but yeah. you know it's going to take a while. To, to get all of us vaccinated. So in the meantime, please don't let your guard down. Wear that mask, uh, use the hand sanitizer, wash your hands whenever you can, keep your hands away from your face. Let's keep us all safe so we don't lose any more. Great advice. All right, Mayor, thanks again for your time. We really appreciate the update from the city. And again, go to the city's website, newhopemn.gov to find out about all of the things going on. Sign up to be with the mayor at the pool and your new job out there <laughs> and other ways to connect with the city. Mayor, thanks for your time. We'll see you again next week. Thanks, Dave. See you then.